what's up, you guys? It is Mary. And Emma. Be back to us a like. Subscribe. Share. And comment. Down below, y'all. And if you guys want to support the channel or contribute to the channel in any way possible, please um, refer to our description box down below, y'all. Yes. Today, we are going to be talking about TJ Holmes and Amy Robach. It has come out that they have been suspended. And not too long after that, they lawyered up. Mm. They both have separate lawyers, apparently. Mm -hmm. Um, but they have lawyered up in a possible lawsuit against ABC because of them being fired. Mm. Um, apparently, TJ and Amy said that they had actually told ABC, it was no GMA. Mm -hmm. It's a lawsuit against GMA. Right. They had actually told GMA that about the relationship or whatever, stuff like that, and they allegedly told them that, um, don't worry, there'll be no disciplinary actions. Fast forward, now they're, they're, they have been having disciplinary actions. So now they're going to come out with a lawsuit and they're going to, I guess they said race could be a factor. Um, you know and then I, I saw a picture of Amy recently out with her husband. Um, she was giving the him... The ex-husband? Yes, the ex-husband. She gave um, him um, the dog, the family dog. Okay. This, that happened, like, I think yesterday. Oh, wow. Um, so my I mean, as you should, because, you know, aren't, you know, the children... Where are the children, I wonder, in this whole thing? Are they staying with Amy? I don't with know. Father, I'm sure they have to see both parents, Amy they're and old TJ. Enough. The kids are old enough to say, you know something, Mom? I don't want to come to you right now. I just don't want to be near you right now. So if the kids are with the dad, because she brought two girls into this relationship. Right. Um, and if the kids just say, Mom, I just want to stay with you know their stepdad. I just, I just can't be in the same house with you right now. Yeah, they're old enough to say that, and so it makes sense for her to leave the dog if they're with him. My thing is them lawyering up. I feel like it's really stupid, mm. if I'm being honest. Like I feel like they're kind of trying to put on this facade as if, oh, we have nothing to hide, which they've been doing that kind of like right. we have nothing to hide. They have not been hiding the relationship or whatever. Well, that's why I was but, saying. That's what I thought. I thought that what happened with them. This is why I think. When it when the news broke, right, right, that they were in this relationship, people in ABC were not aware. So they were caught unawares. Good Morning America right. Three was caught unawares, right? Um, so they go in there, right? And because at first, I remember looking at comments when the news broke. Yeah. And there, it seemed to be. It seemed to be most people who were talking were like, oh, you know, well, I mean, they're grown. They're grown, you know, kind of thing. And I remember just thinking, just what happened to civility and decency? <laughs> you know, and I was just like, what is this? What are these comments? And I was like, I don't see, because I used to work for Good Money in America quite a bit. Not the three, but the regular Good Morning America that comes on in the morning. And I was just think I said, I don't see a lot of people tolerating this. And maybe the ones who are talking are the ones who maybe watch GMA3. But I was like, that regular morning crowd, I don't see them being okay with this. This just seems ratchet to me. Yeah. And sure enough, so I think when he first came out, what they were hearing maybe just like me when they went that day and people were like oh you know i mean people they grown whatever so maybe abc looked at that was just like okay i mean and they came out oh, we're so sorry the news came out you know they went to their boss told them he said well don't worry just go ahead do your show today you know, it's not going to be any disciplinary action but that doesn't mean forever <laughs> you know what i'm saying it just yeah. means today there's no display of action right now. But they didn't say right now. Of course not. Because ABC has to also see how the tide is going to turn. Yeah. Because their fans, the people who pay for that network, are we, the viewers too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They also are dependent on ads. Who are the ones who buy the stuff to create the ads? It's people. So that first day, you know, people are like, you know, they're grown, whatever. You know, leave them be. Right. So that first day, they're like, okay, there will be no discipline action. 
I doubt if they would have said, because even I would not have said. So I doubt them being business savvy. I doubt if they said, oh, there's not gonna be any disciplinary action forever. I doubt they said that. They probably just said, hey, you guys don't worry about it. You have a show to do anyway. Go ahead and do your show. So you any disciplinary action. And they went to the board like that. However, you guys went to the show that day. Did you see TJ? Like, like, yeah, are we look. forgetting? They were sitting there, first of all. Amy, to her credit, tried to, you know, she seemed to be kind of you know, having little giggles to the side. <laughs> But I remember when TJ was like, you know, so who's ready for the weekend or whatever and things like that. And he's like, oh, I don't mind. I don't mind. I, you know, let the week, let the week, who's ready for a weekend? And well, I, I am really ready for a weekend. Oh, no, no. TJ, well, let the week keep on going and going and going and going and going. And then she starts laughing. And I am sure the way I took it, this is some you know, like, cult, like, sex joke between the two, you know, like, it keeps going and going and going, and she's laughing, maybe one day, you know, she's like, baby, I can't please you, or whatever, or maybe he told her, and you keep on going and going and going, I mean, I and just so feel like when they had said that, arrogance when they yes. came back, I felt like they should have been more humble, because, I mean, it's out there, or whatever, I personally do believe that this um, affair was going on during their marriages because the thing is oh, how course. do you guys both separate from your spouses at the same damn time yes. allegedly that of makes course. no sense and then on top of that you now lawyering up you're lawyering up for what even if they took that to court yes. TJ you're actually going to be like you are literally going to be bankrupt yes. because all the evidence really is there yes. you have been having an affair with somebody at the place at your you have been shitting where you have been working yes. for a while like yes. you had an affair with somebody who was yeah. allegedly Amy's friend. Yeah. She had left the show um, because it was uncomfortable, I guess. That's what I heard. And now you are now with Amy or whatever, stuff like that. And then you guys brought it out so messy. I just felt like yeah. it the just whole didn't thing seem... was messy. It was very messy. It was very, it was very, very messy. And but I just the, would not have just... done this to myself. Yeah. Like, not even as a woman. Yeah. For some community weenie. Yeah. Like, I don't get it, Amy. Yeah. The thing is, the thing is... Now you want a lawyer up for what? You're suing them the, for what? The thing is... They are completely when, within their rights. Yeah. When ABC saw how their no disciplinary action, they, they were so... TJ was very cavalier. Very cavalier. Amy was there giggling like some schoolgirl. You know what I'm saying? And I just felt like, who is ready for a, a weekend? I am ready for the weekend. You guys, thanks for joining us. Leave it at that. But they were very cavalier about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that is the problem. So I'm sure ABC was looking at that. The second thing, when they spoke to the family members. Yeah. Um, and then they looked at it. TJ was wearing his ring the day. The, the day that evening was, I think it was a Wednesday. Wednesday night, the news came out. But Wednesday afternoon, when he was on GMA three, Amy wasn't there that day. Yeah, he was wearing his wedding ring. I know. All of a sudden, that Friday now, you're not wearing your wedding ring. We already know Marilee Lee was there celebrating your birthday in August with you. Yeah, thinking this is some kind of reconciliation. So really, you bamboozled Marilee. Lee. She was taken by surprise. You know what I'm saying? So really, yes, Amy had filed for divorce. She had stopped wearing her ring. Um, they weren't officially divorced, but they were working on, I guess, um, the the divorce agreements and stuff like that. But I just feel like ABC, because after that whole Cavalier stuff, and then I think when they went back, because they said that they were going to, I remember the president came out and said that they are going to investigate. There's going to do. They're going to do some investigation. Yeah. And for this time now, they are not going to be on the air as they do their investigation. Yeah. Right. And so that's what they have been doing. They have investigated. You had three. You, you have slept with. Is it three? Three women. Allegedly. Thus far? Um, 
right there. You only came in 2014. Like, you, it's eight yo, years. Like, your what weenie, the hell? Your weenie was very busy. More busy than you should have been this at work. man, like, he, I don't think TJ knows. Like, he, he's married, yes. But I don't think, even though he got married, I don't think he's, he takes marriage seriously, period. I don't think he likes that woman. And, and I um, mean, we saw that in the whole Facebook post that he had posted where oh yes, he was basically like, I've given you reasons seconds. to leave me. Your fine ass should have been walked out the door. Matter of fact, if, if you even get, dare to give me 10 years, you are an idiot, basically. Yeah. But I'll be grateful for 10 seconds. Yeah, the 10 seconds. He really seconds. was telling her, you need to leave me I tomorrow. I was He didn't give want to be minutes. there. That was, what, two years ago? Yeah, and, and, that, and like, that's all you should have given him. You should have given him the, the 10 minutes because he the said he'll seconds. be blessed and then 10 seconds he'll be grateful those, 10 months he was you shouldn't give him 10 minutes 10 seconds because those are the ones that he was okay with but the 10 days it was too much for him the 10 weeks was even rougher 10 years oh god please don't the two years was also way too okay. much so it's now like, he just did this whole thing and i just feel yeah. like and then the way i don't feel like going it's, around i mean when you look at the pictures right like, I'm gonna post some pictures here you for you guys. But the pictures, literally, I mean, not just Miami, but there was one where they were in New York City and they were walking down the street. That was the very first picture we had saw of them since the whole news had broken. They had been taken off. City. When they were just walking, they were holding coffee or something? No, she was no. holding on to him. Like, his hands was like in his pocket. She was holding on to him. Even the ones in Miami, I just, saw the, one, like I just saw the one in Miami when she was all like this. Her yeah, whole I, hand I was know, like this. I know. And this, his hand. <laughs> Was he was he was holding he the was rails? Holding the rail, he was holding the rails, and he looked like, what the fuck is I doing here, standing over this railing? My thing is, it and just seems like was Amy was all plucking. over him. I'm telling you, she was clapping, she was laughing, like, like she was clutching on to him. And the thing like, is, he like just the love was not. It did not seem like it was there. It just seemed like it was really one sided. Like Amy was all over him. This man did not really seem interested. He, matter of fact, he looked trapped. If we are, we're being honest, and he looked confused. You know what he seems? You to know, me, he seems overwhelmed. <laughs> no, he does because I think what has of happened. Of course, he's overwhelmed. What he's about to lose now, his job. He's, he's now yes. about, now he wants to call. Now he wants to get You're a lawyer to and claim your race. Job. Yes, we said that. Now you want to sit down here and claim, mm -hmm. oh, this is a race thing. No, they were going to fire both of you. you How know is what it I'm a saying? race thing? How is no, a race let's, thing? Let's you've been you've been just... cheating where you work for years. Yeah, four years. This woman even brought her it's husband on the show and all this stuff. It's not a race thing. It's a race thing. How I'm, I'm trying to figure out. I don't know how it's a race thing when you've been when you have been a philanderer for how many maybe, years now? Maybe they maybe maybe they want to say if he was white, there would be no problem with this or whatever. You know, this is this is what I think about when people of color come out and claim race thing after they have misbehaved. I personally, it's I annoying. don't want to hear it. Yeah. And the reason why is because you're a person of color, you're giving all of us a bad fucking name. Yes. And you're making it difficult for people of color to have that position later on. We already know the stuff that's out there. But what I do is, is the same way I feel, like with the whole Tory Lanez thing. You are a goddamn foreigner in America. You acting foreigner. a fool. I'm a foreigner too in America. Yeah. You make it difficult for the people who come after you to be able to come. Yeah. Cause now we gotta start looking. Now, because you're a black man, they gotta now start looking at the black men who are foreigners who gotta come to America. Yeah. You, TJ Holmes, you're a person of color. You're there. You've got this really plum, wonderful job, GMA3. Who would have thought? Yes, you have this wonderful um, rapport with Amy. Why couldn't you guys just have left it at that? You guys became fast friends. He has no family friends. He has no discipline with his weenie. That's why. No, it's it's just you know what it is. It's a no lack discipline. of character. No discipline and no character. That's why you've been cheating on your wife since probably since the beginning of the marriage. No, and we're no, being this honest. This man has been cheating even on that first wife he had. Yeah, of course. This man. He never he's, he's stopped, stopped cheating. Philandra. Yeah, and Amy also. 
Okay. Apparently, allegedly, she cheated on that first husband she Tim. had, and her husband also cheated on his spouse, and they came together. Allegedly, and they've been together since. You blended your family. Did not give two shits about that. Yeah. And these are all older children. They look like maybe some of them are in high school. And they're seeing all they that stuff on the news. Deal with this crap. I mean, I can see her daughter say, hey, you know something, mom? I know this is stepdad. I cannot be around you right now. I, I can't. You, I can't. I'm going to stay right here with dad. Yeah. Even though I say stepdad. Because it's, it's too much. It really is. It's too much. You fell in love. You could have waited. You uh, you guys really cool, but it's the no. Amy here. fell in love. TJ don't want to be there. Yeah, Amy. This was another you're, fling you're, you're for him. You're honestly not in love. Like, let's just. My thing is, you're in what, lust. Why, why you would guys you, are in thing, lust with each other, and, and I don't even think TJ is in lust because my I think thing he is, just even if and it's moves. even if it's even if they both have fallen in lust. Yeah, let's just. I don't that. know for why giggles. for shits and giggles. Even if they have fallen in lust. I don't think lust is enough for anybody to go and put, like, their have job. their job on the line. Like, the chopping block. No, you ain't like, I right, don't yeah. think TJ thought this whole thing Your was going to go as far as it did. I really don't think so. Yeah. Like, he had, like I mean, Amy, I don't even think she thought this was going to go this far. Yeah. Because the thing is, this man has been cheating. You've known he's been cheating at the job. He actually cheated with your friend. Yeah. And you decide, let me... Hop on that community yeah. weenie, take that for a spin down the block, yeah. and then bring it back. Oh, and then let me also divorce my husband yeah. for some community weenie. The only Where they thing, do that at? The only thing I I, I see TJ is feeling overwhelmed, <laughs> but the only thing that makes he's about me lose his wonder job. about this is that the only thing that makes Amy hold on to that man for dear life. I feel as though there is. I mean, she's holding on to him. He is overwhelmed, <laughs> but I think that. On TJ's side, when I think about it, I feel like it is a little more than lust on both of their sides. I do think so. And the reason why is this. Because it's almost like they decided together, look, I don't care if I get caught. Especially TJ Holmes. You know why? He was there grabbing. Remember when he was grabbing grabbing her, um, her bottom? Her back? The underside of her bottom. Um, and kind of squeezing it like that. <laughs> um, you know what I'm saying? You guys are not in your 20s. You're in your 40s. Like, oh, after you hell. have sex in there, you ain't got to come out and be grabbing as she's putting stuff in the car and then grab again. It was as if he had just decided, I don't give a damn. Either he was trying to get out of the relationship, I don't give a damn if I get caught. I so in think, that sense, I don't think maybe, there's more love or lust there. I think he's maybe just a they narcissist. just wanted to be together. They're just like eff it. I doubt it. Eff it. I seriously doubt and it. And maybe that's why I ABC, think he is just a narcissist. Because the fact that you will go and lawyer up and claim that it's race lets me know that you are mentally ill. If you think that you cheat on your wife and then going with another co-anchor yeah. and doing it at the job yeah. and then having this affair while you're married and yeah. then you're coming on the show being so like braggadocious about it. Like, yeah. let's keep going and keep going yeah. and keep going. And <laughs> then now you want to hire off a lawyer and claim race? No, your weenie is why you got fired. It's not because you of your know, skin color, idiot. You know why they're claiming race? I'm going to tell you why. Because they want to let ABC know and it's like we you're willing. It's like you're putting their hand to, to the there, fire, basically, and right. telling them that I dare you. I dare you to fire me. I'm gonna sue well, your ass. Well, That's really what they're saying. Really, they know that it's over with them at GMA three. There's no way. You I have something in ABC. I mean, G GMA. No, no, no. ABC is the one that the GMA is under. It's oh, under that. Okay. Um, yeah, it's Good Morning America. It's under the channel ABC, just like you have a channel like NBC. I or thought GMA CBS. had its own channel. No, 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 no. Good morning. It's like you have the Today Show, right? The Today Show is under NBC. Oh, like, yeah. okay. Oh, yeah. Because like you have Ready to it. Love under own. Yeah, right? I get it. I get it. So, um, ABC, the only reason why they're claiming race, they want them to know that we will try to um, really sully things up for you. And they're trying to push ABC to really give them a severance package. Because no one is no one is hiring you guys again. ABC ain't hiring you all. They're not. They're not. Not anytime soon. So, but they need to have money. These people are not working there. Um, 
they are suspended now, probably suspended without pay. And they want to get some kind of money from ABC. That's what I think. So that money enough for them to go on with their lives. Yeah. Their single lives now, right? Their single lives now. TJ got to pay child support probably yeah. to his attorney wife. Yeah. Okay. Um, AB, um, Amy, they're getting separated, even though I, she got some money because they sold, I think, their apartment or something, and they split that money. So Amy got well, a Amy's couple of money. millions in, 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 her, in her whatever. So I just feel like TJ, he really trying to make sure I have some money. I need some money until I get a job. And whatever job you get right now, TJ, it's not going to be of the same caliber right now. And so that money that you're going to be getting moving forward is going to be less. So he needs some money from ABC, some severance pay. Because I, I doubt if ABC is going to go and try to go to trial. They're going to make sure that, look, we pay them, give them a good severance package so they can shut up and go away. That's what I think. That's what I, honestly, I feel like if I was ABC, I would take their ass to court. Let's go there. They're because not, we are justified. Not, I feel like ABC not. would be justified. And I, I feel like if they were to go to court, Amy and TJ will be, will be on what's it? They will have egg on their face. Mm -hmm. I they're mean, not gonna do that. all the evidence is in the pudding. Yeah, they're not going to do that. But I right. just feel the whole they thing never is just do. stupid. Yeah, they never do. They'll just take a package. They'll argue among the, amongst themselves and take something. You I know. just think the whole thing is very arrogant for him to even go and hire a lawyer yeah. and stuff. I, I really feel like I mean, it's they a, had to because they need to, they 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 need, they need their money. They need you money. You should have actually just controlled your damn you, weenie. You should have thought and about you all would of not that. have had you would not have yeah. lost your job. That's why I don't I don't yeah. see how he could have really been in love with Amy because the whole thing just came out very messy. And then it's like, why would you risk your job for some? For a woman at your job who I'm like it just don't make sense to me why you would give up your anchor job that you have been there for years Amy I feel like it's stupid what you're doing you're here hold on to this man I don't even like you yeah. that probably don't even really he want you for real looks overwhelmed is he standing there in Miami his hands are on the rail looking out like oh geez. as people are there taking pictures of them <laughs> she holding clutching on to him for dear life I was like oh god anyway yeah. that's I don't our think, opinion I, I actually don't think it's gonna last Hell no, it's not going to last. You have a cheater, and then you have another cheater, allegedly. It will so be it will be over. I give it. Year. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I and then they'll so. both be jobless. So. Yeah. But yes, y'all, it's Mary. They'll find something, but it will yeah. never be to that GMA3 level or that money. No. They're going to have to take some kind of pay cut so they want money to be able to maintain their lifestyle, especially TJ. Because Amy already has her, her million from when they um, they sold that, I think it was New York apartment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, y'all. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I just want to quickly make this last statement before oh. we close out. I do feel like maybe on Amy's part, it's more of a love thing. Because I think that Absolutely. she was much further in the separation and the divorce yeah. than TJ was. Yeah. He just filed for divorce three days after Christmas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And after he had not were, really... After they were caught. Yes, exactly. He was still and he had not really ring. even formally separated. He yeah. just took off his wedding the day before it announced. Yeah. So I feel like Amy was kind of seeing this for the future mm -hmm. while he was dragging his foot like... Ugh. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So that's all I got to say. Do but, you think she called the photographer to come? No, I think... To I, push his hand so he can be divorced so Marilee can see? I think it was either Amy or it was Mary Lee who did a private investigator. That's what I think. But I do think it was Mary Lee who did the whole private investigator thing. Mm. Honestly, for sure. Mm. But yes, y'all, it is Mary and Alma. We invite you to like, subscribe, share, and comment.